what has been really inspiring about the moot court competition has been seeing people from all over the world, different ideas, different places, different traditions, coming together to argue about expression, expression in the world, expression and its impact on society. The Oxford program has tried to pick subjects that are vital, that are important to populations, and to frame them in this way that is very special to a moot court. To have two groups arguing, sometimes on one side, sometimes on the other side. This is a, a very basic element of a moot court, is learning to argue both sides of a question. And learning to, to argue in a system that you're not quite familiar with. It's not only about free expression, it's free expression itself. And it's about the relationship often between the way we think about free expression and the media that carry it, the internet, the broadcasters, the press. The other thing which I, I, I'd like to stress and has been really interesting is the relationship between the moot court and the future of legal education about the media, legal education about free expression. When, when the Oxford program has set these efforts up, they often have done it in an environment in which there haven't been courses in the law schools. There, haven't, there hasn't been consistent ongoing dialogue. The moot court nourishes interest. It sparks talent. It sparks uh, a zest for learning more about the subject over a four-year period. This idea of arguing about media questions and about the structure of media and the structure of free expression has caught on in various parts of the world. So we've had teams from Bangladesh, we've had teams from Malaysia, we've had teams from China, we've had teams from the United States. We now have a regional media, international media and free expression competition in India. And there's will be one in Afghanistan and there's hopefully one in China and maybe even in the Middle East. So this is a, a demonstration of a need that is, that, that is uh, uh, spontaneously arising and, and does so in a very nice and coherent way.